Good morning, European traders. Or actually, should I say good afternoon, good lunchtime, European traders. Good morning, North American traders. Quick rundown in Europe. Nothing happened except for Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss broke 118.30, the year's highs. Went up 50 points, which is a huge move in Euro Swiss these days. Uh, all the way up to 118.80, now back at 48. This is now hindsight, nothing to do with that, just a quick recap. We're waiting for CPI out of the U.S. If CPI is hot, we'll be selling euros, uh, and we'll also be selling Aussie. Uh, and if CPI is weak, we will be selling dollars. We like dollar yen lower if CPI is weak just because we're still on this bear mode in uh, equities. So those are our three trades for CPI. Selling dollar yen on weak ones, selling Aussie and Euro on a strong one. After CPI becomes FOMC minutes, the risk in the minutes I do believe is for a more sort of hawkish review of what was initially pronounced as a bearish set of minutes, if you remember. Uh, the last meeting, dollar went down uh, because of the only three rate hikes in the future, even though the chat was pretty hawkish. So I think the minutes will reveal a more sort of hawkish type, type of... Uh, type of context, but we'll have to see where the currency levels are before we get too involved in that. Uh, that comes out 8 o'clock Central European time, 2 p.m. New York time. Equities have done very little. We're sitting here in this 40 level again. We've printed a low down to 37 and a quarter on some meaningless bullshit. Uh, now we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs, waiting for New York to get in. Come on, New York. Get your ass up and get in there. Uh, we want to start trading. All right, guys. Uh, 5.40 a.m. in New York, so probably another two hours before uh, the fun and games begin. I will talk to you later and wish you good luck on the New York session. Ciao.